Hi, my name is Felicity and today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a blog design where you can break out the content of your images and other assets from the main uh, flow. So if that interests you, uh, we're going to be using CSS grids. And if you want to follow along, uh, if you click the link down below, you can see the Scrimba link. And so this is an interactive screencast, which means you can pause and edit the code as you go along. But that's enough of me. Let's open our browsers and get stuck in. First of all, let's look a look, take a look at our HTML structure. It's pretty straightforward. We have a main with a class of wrapper. We have some text content in here. And we have an image which we've given the class of full bleed. Now this is the item that we want to break out of its container and stretch to the edge of our document, otherwise known as full bleed. So how are we going to do this in CSS? Well, before we do that, we need to have a think about the layout that we're trying to achieve. So what we have here is we have a three column layout where the center column is 65 CH or 65 characters in length. Now it's said that the optimal reading length is between 50 and 70 characters, which is why I've specified this to be 65 CH. And then we have the remaining two columns of uh, one FR in width. That is to say that of the remaining uh, area available, we want to equally divide it between these last two columns. So how are we going to do this in CSS? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to specify a display of grid on our element with the class of wrapper. And then we need to set up our grid template columns. We need to say 1FR, 65CH, 1FR. You can see what's happened is it's automatically placed all of the content into those three column areas. But we want it to all sit within the central column. So we want everything that's descended from or contained within the dot wrapper element or the element with a class of dot wrapper. And we want to put that inside grid column two, except for our image with the full bleed class. We want that to be inside of grid column one, four. Now this works, but you may wonder why we said four when there's only three columns in our layout. Now that is because it is not referring to the columns, but instead referring to the grid lines, which are numbered thus one from one incrementally all the way up to the edge of our document, which in this case is four, or alternatively, alternatively from right to left minus one to minus four. So we can change this here. So instead of saying one to four, we could say one to minus one, and that would equally stretch it to the edges of our document. Or we could say span three, which does refer to the column areas rather than the grid lines. But I'm just gonna leave that at one minus one. Okay, we are getting there, but there's some more things we need to do. Can you see here at the smaller screen size that our content is still overflowing? Pause the screencast for a moment and take a look at the CSS and see why is that happening? Yes, that's right. It's happening because we have said we want that center column to be 65 characters in length. But at the smaller screen size, our screen is smaller than, than our center column. So the content itself is overflowing. So we need to add a min value here. We need to say min 65 CH or 100%, whichever is smaller. And now you can see that we don't have that overflow issue at, a, at the smaller screen size. But we have one more thing we need to add, and that is some padding here. So you may be aware of the gap property, or in this case, we could say column gap, and we could say 20 pixels. But that's going to give us our overflow problem again because we're adding 20 pixels to 100%. So instead, we are going to use 
this really rather fabulous calc function. So we're going to take calc 100% minus 40 pixels. So that's 20 on either side. And now we have our full bleed layout, which works at all our sizes and has some nice padding there for our mobile. Thank you for listening.